can can we talk about then Citizens United? Mm. And I have a big problem with this, and and I know a lot of people think I'm wrong. And people, me being libertarian, think, oh, you must love corporations being people. I I can't stand corporations being people. I hate the idea. Some libertarians like it. I don't. I think it's a terrible idea. In my personal opinion, which is clearly not law, and they're not listening to me, but in my personal opinion, anyone, any, 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 any jurist who could say a corporation is a person is either incompetent, corrupt, <laughs> or an idiot. A corporation is ones and zeros in a computer. Mm -hmm. That's not a person. Mm -hmm. And if a corporation is a person, you can't audit it because it has Fifth Amendment rights. It can't, it can't incriminate itself. It's a person, not just mm -hmm. that it can vote. It's born in America, usually in Delaware, but it's born in America, right? So it should be able to vote. It should be able to vote in Delaware because it's probably in Delaware Corporation. It should be able to, well now Wyoming too. But anyway, mm -hmm. it should be able. It should be able to vote. Mm -hmm. All those things, right? It, all those things are true. It has a first. It should be able to own a gun, the, right? It should be able to have <laughs> Second Amendment rights. All those I things. Think, I think it's more accurate to say that what the what Citizens United says is that corporations are not persons but people. So that when you and I get together mm -hmm. and we want to do, we want to say something with our money combined, mm -hmm. um, we, sh we shouldn't lose our individual rights just because we've joined together to do that. So that, that's how I would, that's how I would defend Citizens United. Sure. Um, now, I think there are limits to Citizens United. One of those limits that I, that I would propose is that public sector, in, public sector unions mm -hmm. not be protected by Citizens United. Okay. So, interestingly, in Citizens United, um, there was a corporate. But, but how do you see that difference between public and private in this case? It, it, I, I, I want to be clear on why is there a difference? Yeah, well, Citizens United, strictly speaking, involved a corporation as a party, didn't involve a union. Ah, but, okay. But they went out of their way in Citizens United to make sure that it applied to both corporations and to unions. Perhaps on the theory that you, 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 were, um, you were talking about earlier, that if, if, we're going to give a leg up to corporations. We better give it to unions too, right. because these are two competing interests in America. Yeah, whatever. What they didn't say was private sector or public sector. Uh. I think the difference between private and public sector is kind of what we've been talking about. When when you allow a public sector union um, to speak on issues of public importance, mm -hmm. they're using dues money that's collected from individuals some of whom have no choice but to pay those dues. Um, many people have been tricked into paying a union. Many have been uh, al not allowed to leave their union, even though they've tried. Uh, mm. Ben, who, who, uh, who left you a message earlier, is an, is an example of that. He was mm -hmm. not allowed to leave his union. Yet we allow public sector unions to benefit from Sins United as well and to use their collective voice made up again of dollars that were taken from public sector employees and to use that money to speak and to support candidates who end up across the bargaining table from them. Yes. Bargaining over precisely the same issues that prompted them to speak out in the first place. Right, right. It's a terrible cycle. It's probably more akin to um, when, we, when we talk about state contractors. For a long time, if you do business with the state, it's much like when you became a, a soldier, you there. A marine, you do, not a soldier. A marine. A marine. A marine. You just sorry. insulted me. I'm kidding. You, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you waived their rights. Yes. Well, state contractors do the same thing. I used to represent state contractors. Mm -hmm. They waive a lot of their rights. Public sector unions should be treated like that. There are certain ah. corporations that shouldn't be allowed because it looks like quid pro quo. Right. Just as Citizens United noted, it looks like right. quid pro quo. Certain uh, public sector unions, just like those those private contractors, should not be allowed to speak um, using the money that they've collected from public sector employees. I, I like that distinction. That that's actually clear to me. I get that.